Hello, and welcome to episode two. Excited. I like this game. Ah, so many memories that I hopefully will not bore you with. But, and which, in case I... Oh yeah, I forgot about the section entirely. Wow. Sparkles! I like those with the X for some reason. Ah. Good level. Anyway. This one going up here. Oh, hi. And I guess we have to go through there. Well, actually, I know we have to go through there. I'm not going to start coming up with things. Um, anyway, first things first. Actually, I forget if there's anything on back this way, but something's telling me no. Okay. One thing I do, however, know is that there's stuff down here. And now we get to have the water mechanics. And, yeah. Plum. Blue plums. Blues or something. I like read somewhere that they're supposed to be pronounced bloom. Which seems totally weird to me, like. But then yeah, I suppose... At least I think it's supposed to be for nice Yeah, probably. It, this game is made in France. Well, Ubisoft is based in France, so presumably it was made in France. <laughs> Let's do that again. I love that mushroom. I like the sound effect, too. It's very springy. Ah. <laughs> I first played this, it was like, like, it was a demo. Oh yeah, hey, save point, good. <laughs> first actual enemy. Anna. And you basically kill something. <laughs> I do think some, however, in some cases, can be spawned, so just, just keep, remember that. And there are no swimming signs posted around here, so don't go in those. Another thing you usually tell is that safe water is like pure white, usually, but I mean, there are some exceptions, so just remember that. I like the way the switches are designed in this. And don't just jump off quite yet. We've got goodies hidden all over this place. Slide. Almost fell off. I think there's other things here too so that we might get before. Hoppy frogs. <laughs> They're cardboard hands. They're so funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, this place. I remember this place. Anyway, I played this game first as a demo. Chef computer. I like, remembered it. So it was a long time. I was like one level. Well, actually, more like a uh, really small section of this level. And it really is small. Oh my god, this to get this way. Completely forgot about going down here. Well, almost forgot about going down. But anyway, I'm, uh, I remembered it, and I forgot the name of it. So, before, th like, afterward, I always called it the Chicken Man Game. Because, I mean, look, look at Rayman's hair. It's like, I don't know why, but <laughs> it always reminded me of, like, chicken hair for some reason. 
And there's no reason for that at all! It makes no sense whatsoever! But, <laughs> I always called it, like, um, uh, the chicken-haired man game or something like that. When I was, like, describing it to my brothers. And it took forever, and then I finally like, asked, um, uh, Byron, the employee of my dad, who showed me the demo, and I was like, ooh, can I play? I was like, sure, whatever. So I went, and, but, he's like, what game? Like, he couldn't, like, understand what I was, like, talking about. Like, the guy with the hair that looks like a chicken's, and, um, uh, there were, like, this, uh, those, um, uh, robots that was, like, red or something. It was, like, finally I was, like, Rayman? Like, I think... I find this very amusing that, uh, it's, like, four years or something after I played the demo that I finally got to play the game. It's, like, I remembered it all the way through, then it's ridiculous. Things I remember. <laughs> That's enough babbling, though. There's the one that's... Um, strange. Anyway, yeah, you can jump up these things, why not? If you want to, you can just jump over them. It's much easier that way than having to deal with the waiting aspect of it. You want that, though? And achieving 100% and settling for very little less. <laughs> ah, yes. This is where the demo would begin, actually. So, anyway. Um, I think that's uh, enough for this recording. Um, thank you for watching, and, uh, next episode we'll get into this next area. Or should I make it a long episode? I think we can go a little bit longer, actually. Yeah, let's go a little bit longer. Woohoo! Let's do this. Like, rock theme or something in the background. <laughs> it's only, like, one song that I remember, like, after, like, uh... Stopped... Am I going backwards now? No. Good. <sighs> Confusing camera. This was another hard jump for me for some reason. It's like the most basic double jump thing jump then jump thing ever, I think. Well, at least reasonably, but oh yeah, these. These are like timer things or something. Success sound. Oh, they're all on timers. See if I can find that zoom key. What was it? I know there was a zoom key somewhere around here for like first person stuff. I think I can find it under like uh, controls. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Ah. Okay, never mind. I'll find it sometime else, but these guys. Look at that! He's got this ridiculous grin on. There's a lot of comedy here, and it's wonderful. And on down we go. We want to aim for the little lily pad on down here. Oh, man. There's something that's like, you're never really sure about with that set of jumps. You can go and just grab those ones on the lily pad, like, straight away, but it doesn't really help. Anyway, now that, that little side story's over... Let's get moving. This guy tosses bombs at you. Ah, oh, I miss those nice, cheesy flame effects. And if you were wondering, yes, that was a band -aid. There's always that one bomb that follows you down here. <laughs> oh man, this thing was a nightmare. Hey. 
Wow, it's still not super difficult for that set there. It's like, I just remember having so much difficulty with- ah! Well, that was unexpected. At least you get to see the respawn effects. I like the glowy stuff I always have. Now, how on earth did that happen? Ah! I know there's a pattern for this thing, but I don't remember what it is. This is what? There we go. Yes, it is a band-aid. Band-aids are amazing. Band-aids tell you many things. <laughs> and yes, there is a stealth aspect. Well, not really. There's just a, uh, more or less, you get to... Oh. Hi, maniacal grinning frog. There are lots of pirates in the area. <laughs> and this is going to be our combat tutorial. And it's pretty good. This one's just can, tells you about the strafing controls and whatnot. Anyway, yeah, the short invisibility period that always annoyed me a bit. But you can get around that with these guys later quite easily. Or at least with variants of this horrible dude. It would be nice seeing all the different kinds of uh, pirate. And a brown band-aid. I still don't know why a band-aid would turn brown unless it's supposed to be like metal sheeting or something that's been like tacked on there or something because it looks kind of metallic. But it still looks like a band-aid. Maybe it's like leather band-aids. Do they make leather band-aids? Okay. <laughs> I'll be showing you something funny with this later. Now anyway, I think we'll go in here and uh, see what we've got in here and then uh, Call it in for this episode. We're about halfway through the level now. So, yeah. And cage. Ta-da! With a grinning sun. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.